Howdy, folks. This is just a reminder that if you like this content, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially by subscribing. And be sure to hit the bell notification so you always get notified whenever I have a new video. Hope you enjoy this. I thought I'd share this uh, question with you from Catholic Answers Live just because of how interesting it is. When it first came up, all I saw on the call screening sheet was that the question was, can you make synthetic water and can you bless it? And I thought, well, that's easy. The answer to both of those questions is yes. But then when the caller got on the air, it turned out to be much more interesting. And I had to think a little bit about how to answer it. I, I thought it was a very stimulating, and I wonder how other apologists would have handled it. Anyway, here goes. In, I think it was season three, episode 15 of the series Eureka, they make mm -hmm. synthetic water, or we find out they make synthetic water. And okay. the hypothesis is, is that the molecules of this water, under the gravitational compression of the Earth, enough to start a planet, could be put in a liter bottle of water that you could drink, and it's perfectly fine. But on a supposed different gravity of another planet, it could that one liter could be used to start life on the planet. Is that okay. possible, do you think? And then, if so, can that water be blessed and used in all the ways that uh -huh. holy water could be used here? Okay, well... So um, I guess let's start by talking about water. Water is a chemical molecule that includes two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So that's why it's called H2O. And uh, normal water involves the normal isotopes of hydrogen and uh, oxygen. But there are variations uh, because there's so an element has a certain number of protons in its nucleus, like hydrogen has one uh, nucleus, one proton in its nucleus. Um, ions have different numbers of neutrons. So even though there may only be one proton in, in a nucleus of hydrogen, it can be a different uh, isotope of hydrogen depending on how many uh, depending on how many neutrons it has so for example if it has zero neutrons then it's standard hydrogen but if it has one neutron then it's a different isotope of hydrogen known as deuterium and if it has two neutrons then it's a, a third isotope of hydrogen known as tritium and so if you make water with alternative isotopes it's going to have different chemical properties for example uh when it has when water is made with either deuterium or tritium it's known as heavy water and heavy water is particularly good in certain types of atomic reactions so it's used in atomic research for example and if we're ever able to get controlled hydrogen or controlled nuclear fusion off the ground which is always 25 years away um, then we'll be able to use heavy water uh, as particularly a useful substance in um, in fusion reactions. Currently, we do have nuclear fusion, but it's uncontrolled. We can only use it to make bombs. That's what hydrogen bombs are, but the, they're, they're fusion devices, but they're uncontrolled, which is why they explode. So if we can ever bring it under control, we'll have a really nice power source that we can use seawater to run with. Now, can we make... Um, synthetic water yes we can make synthetic water um we can combine uh, hydrogen and oxygen to produce new water and depending on what state it's in it will have somewhat different properties uh where we know, most commonly think of liquid water but there are actually a number of different ways that those water molecules can combine into crystals when we make ice and so there are several different types of ice hopefully no one will ever make uh, Ice-9, which is a fictional substance from a um, oh, uh, author of, of uh, Slaughterhouse-Five. Stephen, uh, 
Kurt Vonnegut. Yeah. Um, if if memory serves, Ice Nine is from a Kurt Vonnegut novel, and if it touches other water, it will freeze it all, and so the Earth's oceans could freeze if anybody ever made Ice Nine. In terms of the synthetic water you're referring to, I'm afraid I, I was aware of Eureka, but I haven't really watched it, and so I'm not familiar with the episode in question, but... Um, could you use water to start life on another planet? Well, sure. Water is an essential solvent that is broadly thought to be essential for life in general. It's certainly essential for all life we have here on Earth. And if you're starting life on another planet, you need some kind of liquid, some kind of solvent uh, that can serve as a medium for the other molecules that are going to go into the chemistry of whatever organisms you create. Water is a particularly good one. There are other possibilities. You know, you could have liquid liquid ammonia, for example, or things like that, but you need some kind of solvent, some kind of liquid, I should say, in order to get uh, biological chemistry going. And water is one of the best. So um, you could use water as part of a process to build life on another planet for another environment um dependent and dependent on the the gravity of the planet i guess you know the uh the i the kind of water like is it normal water or is it some kind of heavy water i guess that could make a difference um because those waters those different kinds of waters have different effects on biology like if you drink a small like on humans for example if you drink a small amount of heavy water it's not really going to hurt you but if you drink a large amount of heavy water it will hurt you because your body does not clear it the same way that it clears regular water and so large consuming large amounts of heavy water can uh can can even kill you So you don't want to drink too much of it. But that illustrates how different types of water have different effects on biology. And so depending on the other elements that were going to be used in creating biochemistry on this other planet, um, one or more types of water might fit with those better than others. So I guess that's what I'd have to say in general terms. You also asked, can it be blessed? Well, you can bless anything. So, um, so yeah, you could you could bless this this imaginary synthetic water that they made. What I would say is the water alone is very unlikely to be sufficient for biochemistry by itself. It would need to have other elements involved, but it could uh, be involved in the creation of life and could even help stimulate the creation of life if there's not already water of a sufficient type present in that planetary environment. Does that help you out, Myra? As always, I stand in awe and gratitude and thankfulness to you guys there at Catholic Answers, <laughs> you, Jimmy, and the Lord. Uh, I never cease to be amazed, and we live for these two hours every evening. Thank oh, you. Oh, Mayor, how nice. Uh, Thank you so much. In Baghdad, Kentucky, uh, the high school team is what, the Sultans or the uh, the Genies? What What is it? <laughs> the kid. <laughs> No, it's the Shelby County Rockets. Oh, the Shelby County Somewhere Rockets. All right. Collins, <laughs> uh, uh, Mayor, thanks very much uh, for the call. We got to take a quick break. Jimmy Aikens, our guest. It's Ask Me Anything on Catholic Answers Live. And before we go, just one more reminder that if you like what you've watched, you can help me out by liking, commenting, and especially by subscribing. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'd really appreciate your help. Thank you, and God bless you.